Hello everybody, it's Amy. Welcome back to my channel. Today, mom and I are at 820 Antiques in Elkhart, Indiana. It has been a few months since we've been in here, so I'm excited to see what they have in here today. Let's go. I think I have mentioned this before um, about this place in particular, that they decorate some of the walls in here with old board games. I just love how that looks. It's so fun. Look at this Donald Duck one. But yeah, the whole wall um, goes all the way down there. Isn't that fun? So I always love seeing this booth with all the pretty glass. I love how it's lit from underneath. We've got a lot of crackle glass like Kanawa and things up here. And then there's some Lucite grapes, $42 on those. Got some more pretty glass back this way too. I love that purple ruffle. It's 20 bucks on that. That's pretty good. I just love how the colors pop in here. It's so, so pretty. So I was walking by this and how cool is this display with all of the glowy jewelry on here with the black lights? That's so fun. Okay, we've got a lot of cute little squeakies. This is a Ruthie Newton pup right here. He is $12. Yes, I will get him for sure. I like this big teal elephant. He's cute. I don't see a price on that one. It's probably on the floor somewhere. Yeah, I think that's the only one I like. This one is a I can't remember if this is Edward Bobley or Sun Rubber, but that one's 12 as well. Very cute. I'm going to have to see if I can find a tag for Mr. Elephant. And looks like we've already got some Easter fun out, so we'll peek at these. This is a, on Edward Mobley. Bunny here. Squeak for him. I've had him before. Yeah, we'll take Mr. Bunny. And this guy's cute. He is $7. He doesn't squeak anymore. It's a left and bunny here. This guy's cute. I like him. He's really cute. He says 1968 on the bottom. He's very cute. I like him. I guess we'll get him too. That's too bad this Knickerbocker bunny has broken glasses because these are hard to find. $12. We've got a small Wonder Bunny. This is advertising. $6 on that. I think that's all we're going to pick up. This is really good shape here. This is a fold-out um, honeycomb egg basket. Usually these are in really, really poor shape. This looks in pretty good condition for $12. But I do have one of these at home. And it does look like the honeycomb coloring has faded quite a bit over time. But there's lots of other fun things in this booth too. We've got a little furry pony. That's cute. I usually don't pick up horse things. Um, but that's pretty cute. It's Yukatco. We do have some grazing on there. I'm not sure. I'm gonna think about him. He's pretty cute though. We got some cubby holes full of littles down in here. These are nice. These are blue mountain pottery. Oh, uh, they are. $18 for the set of those. Well, this is a piece of Ellie Smith. Don't see this Rose Bowl very often. Um, $17 on that. That's a little too much for me to pick it up. But very cool to see. I am inside this case to show you guys there's some pretty things in here. So we've got a Van Brickle shell planter here for $85. This is gorgeous here. I'm gonna get in real close so you can see the detail on that. This is green malachite. You don't see these very often, but I love the detail on the sculpture in there. We've got some perfume bottles down in here. Very pretty, I like this purple one back here in the back. Got a Fenton fan vase here for 29. I think this is Nippon. Look at how pretty that is. Yes, it's $92. And look at this biscuit jar. I love the handle and the lid on that. That is gorgeous. That is 
dollars. Seven dollars isn't bad. Oh, look at the little Monchichi. How cute is she? Who else had these? I so remember these. She is darling cute. Look at her little pocket. She is $22. So cute to see those. There's lots of little things stuffed around in here. Lots of things. Look at this nutcracker. That's fun. Never seen one look like that. $36 on that. Lots of fun things. Oh, I see a baby back here. How much are you? She is $14. Very cute. I got a Pendlefin bunny. I love these guys. There are so many different variations of the Pendlefin, Pendlefin rabbits. $12 for that piece. Somebody's applied the felt to the bottom. Um, yeah, look up those, you guys. You can see how many different ones there are. There's hundreds of different ones of those, and they're all stinking cute. Got some more pretty glass. Look at that Fenton basket. Or maybe that's, it looks like it's Amberina. It's $28. That's really pretty. I don't know if that's Fenton. It might be Imperial, but it's very pretty. With that Daisy and Buttons bell back there. That's gorgeous. And a little chip and dip and a golden wiener dog. It's a big flower frog, my goodness. Nine dollars on that. I wish it was a color. I tend to look for the colored ones more often. Oh, look at the fish. A little blown glass fish. It says it's double sided, a hundred and ninety-five dollars. Very cool. Alright, we've got some really pretty glass in here. I love the hand painting on those too. It's $25 each for those. This iridescent blue is gorgeous. $75 on that. We've got some moon and stars here. In the amberina, that's $20. Oh, look at the little glass penguins. Really pretty things in this cabinet. Look at the slag glass jar, 52. We've got some pink Heli Smith. I can't see the tag on that one. It is a locked case, but man, that's pretty. I filmed this the last time we were here, but I just think this is such a cool idea to take an old chair and just completely cover it and turn it into a brooch display. I love that. Look at this butterfly right here. I did pick up some brooches the last time I was here. They were all Christmas um, pins. It's $12 for that butterfly. But there's so many fun ones on here. I like the strawberries there. I do have some enamel. There's a big enamel flower for $15. really see any that are like speaking to me that I have to pick up today let me know in the comments what kind of brooches um, do you like animals or flowers or just kind of pretty sparkly ones let me know in the comments you guys have seen me film this gal several times I do believe um, she is Christ she's a little either a napkin or a hanky holder um, $24 but like always, the rhinestones are missing and she looks like she's not in that great of shape. Um, we have yet to see one that's been in good condition. All right, check this out. That is gorgeous. Well, it's got a little poem on the front. And look at the sides of this candy tin. Absolutely beautiful. How great of a riser would that make? It's in great shape. $6. Oh yeah, we're definitely going to pick that up. I did find some things the last time we were here in this booth, so I'm going to take a peek. I see this little ballet girl back here. She's 15. She's cute. Look at this pretty 
1954 little box. Some pretty blues. Alright. And oh this is this is an old vase right here. Twenty-two dollars. There's a little poodle box. There's one with a deer on the top. There's something else. There's another one of these that has another animal on the top too. I think this is Gobel. It's Gobel to me. You know, twelve dollars on that. Yeah, I don't really see anything in here for me today. Well, there is some Miss Pris. Salt and pepper shakers. Those are $45. Too much for me to pick up. This is cute. This little kitty head base here. $28. Again, that's a little too much. Oh, I see a little... I see a little... I don't see St. Patrick's Day stuff very often. A little Lego Japan dish. $28 on that. Again, that's a little too much for me. This glass elephant's neat. He's fun. 48 Yeah, the prices are just a little too much for me. Unfortunately, we've got a flamingo here. He is 75 I like this little pink tray. 15 I don't think that that's very old, but it's cute. Yeah, I don't really see anything in here either. A lot of pretty green depression glass. Alright, we are in the last booth here at 820 Antiques. And there's a little diamond pottery kitty. Meow meow. Um, I left behind the last one I saw, but I think I'm going to pick that up today. Um, I'm feeling it today. She's cute. I can't remember the name of the cat. Milky? No, that's the cow. I can't remember the name of the cat. It'll come to me. But yeah, we're going to pick her up today. Alright, you guys. I think we're ready to check out. Alright, we're all done here at 820 Antiques. And what I did pick up in there was that cool tin candy box. The three squeak toys and the diamond pottery kitty so that's all I picked up in there today and we are headed to another store right here around the corner called antiques on Beardsley so I'll check back in in a second all right here we are at antiques on Beardsley let's head on inside well this awesome lamp that I showed the last time um, is still here. It's $149. Firm. Lots of fun mid-century pieces in here. I love this canister set. $49 for those. It's a pretty gooseberry Pyrex. All priced individually there. I love this room divider. Well, the back room here has a whole bunch of really fun Vintage clothes back here and dresses and things. I love the hat boxes that are up there. Very fun. Look at this silver, silver frock. Got some slips and things. Got some coats and stuff over here on this side. This looks nice and warm. Nice and warm. It's $95. I had to get these on camera. You just don't see this kind of thing. So, this TV tray set of four in the original box. Amazing shape. $135. That's what that says. Yes, for the set. That's really, really cool. I love those. I love when people color coordinate their booze. It just is so appealing. Look at these canisters. 24 for the set of those. 
And we've got a little Valentine section. All the reds and things pulled together. We do have some Valentines in the little dish here. So let's take a peek at these. Not bad price. A dollar, two dollars, one dollar. I always stop and look at these for space themed ones, mermaid ones, mechanical ones. Those are usually my favorite kind to, to pick up. Cute little seal. Some older ones in here too. I don't really see any that are jumping out at me here. Fun to look though. In this booth, the last time we were here, I picked up a really cool German die cut advertising wall pocket piece. It was actually right here, uh, sitting right there the last time we were here. Some fun vintage board games. Oh, Mousetrap. Oh, that was fun to play. Very fun stuff. We've got Pepe Le Pew. Lots of Melmac kind of dishes, too. Always love this booth. It's 25% off today. I just like how they display things in this one. Always fun displays. Oh, look at how cute that little embroidered Howdy Doody blanket is up there. Let's see if we can see how much that is. I'll get a little bit closer up on it here. It's $35, really. Very, very cute. Look at all of the pretty different colors of Blendo collected in here. I love the purple. I think the purple and the blue are my favorite two colors of Blendo. So, looks like the glasses are between 8 and 11. Little picture is 35. Very pretty. I love all the colors together like that. Here's another really pretty display of Blendo. I love all those. The chip and dip. I had a blue one once upon a time. It's 75 for that. The pitcher and glasses is 69 there. Very neat. Now, I normally don't focus on furniture because obviously I don't buy furniture, but I do like some of the more unusual pieces just to highlight them. I love the poles on here. This is really nice. It's $495. I do like that. All right, you guys, we're all done here in Elkhart, Indiana. What I did purchase today were all of those little squeak toys and that really amazing tin candy box and the diamond pottery kitty. So that's all we picked up today. Thank you guys so much for following along. We'll see you next time. Bye guys.